Hey guys, welcome to Nerds and Nuance. I'm Ian, and we're back with more The Legend of Vox Machina. Super excited to continue this show. Um, I'm going to be doing all three episodes and putting them up. It's not always going to come out this early. Um, I'm just, I decided for the premiere, I was going to take work off. So, yeah, I'm going to be up and editing this, um, so they'll be out to you pretty quickly. Again, the following, because I know they're apparently going to be releasing them in chunks of three episodes, so... It's not always going to come out this quickly. It's going to be the first, the only one, I think. Um, unless they all release at 7, then that'd be great. Then I'll totally do it. But um, if that's not the case, then you know. Um, but yeah, so we've met the council. We met, you know, the group Vox Machina. Um, we met and dealt with Krieg slash Brimscythe. Um, and there was a really sad moment where the whole village was destroyed and then the the, oh, the kid that was just barely hanging on they couldn't save him god that was heartbreaking jesus I wasn't expecting I, I thought maybe like when him being you know the only one left alive I thought that would be you know he'd grow up somebody would be with the group like on the council not on the council like you know helping the guard or something growing up with somebody where they around their area but no it was just basically to give them more incentive to take out Brimside. So this is kind of like putting them on their path to who they eventually kind of become. Like, they're not full-on, you know, heroes, heroes, but they're definitely better than how they start, so. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, all right, 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 right. Yeah, I kind of figured he'd have to die this episode. Uh, it's kind of, again, kind of sad. Hopefully, maybe David Tennant is going to, you know, will be around for a little bit longer. Who knows? Um, but oh, that was all oh, the music. So, all of it together, which is great. The, the, <laughs> I don't, it was, sorry, I'm just scatterbrained, apparently. <laughs> Um, but uh, the, the, real quick, before I get into the crazy stuff, um, so the stones, okay, spoilers for campaign one, so if you don't be spoiled, jump to whatever time I put here. Um, but I'm assuming those are the stones that I believe they alerted, wow, that was really weird, alerted the other dragons. At the very least, that one I feel like was, uh, Rashan. That's my assumption. It's I don't remember how many if there were any other female dragons except for her. Except for Rashan. I don't let's see, there's Vor, Vor, Vorgal and what's the black dragon called? Umbrasil. Umbras Umbrasil. Right? Did you pronounce it? Okay, so yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Rashan. Um I don't recall was Thordak wasn't released yet, right? I think the stone thing, like that didn't ha like I think that didn't happen until like in the actual stream. I think we saw that. But they've moved it up because you know they gotta streamline things. Um and it worked it worked out. Well, you know, it kinda makes sense. Yes, I believe it was in his in uh in Krieg's lair. They just revisited it in the in the campaign. Um, they're in the stream. They visit this place again to do some research. I don't remember what for. They were looking for something. Um, maybe they were looting his place and never had a chance to fully loot it. Um, so that's obviously telling, telling to what's going to be coming up later on. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be another season thing. Um, not this season because obviously we have the Briarwoods. Um, and for those who don't know, very dangerous couple. Um, I won't go into too much detail just because those who know know who she is, and those who don't know don't want to spoil exactly what they do um, or how they, what, what kind of stature they hold. Um, but it's very evident that they're not good news. <laughs> um, God, I'm so glad Krieg was killed. Though. I mean, apart from the fact that we don't have David Tennant, but I was so glad he was killed at the beginning where he's like pep talk, uh, talking up the soldiers and. God, I, that was so infuriating. Just like giving them that pep talk and then just, and just be like, best rest up. 
A storm's a coming tonight. He's like, yeah. Thanks, douchebag. None of them survived, I don't think. I mean, well, he said that only a few of us survived, and of course he did, unscathed. I feel like that should have been a little suspicious on, on its own, but I mean, maybe because he's just such a veteran. I don't know. But none of his armor was dinged up at all. I feel like he should have done whatever. I'm glad he's taken care of. Oh, this is a, first off, love the idea to see Gilmore, and he is perfect. I can't remember his name, and I feel really bad for, but uh, I can't remember the voice actor for Gilmore. But, mwah, perfect Gilmore. Like, I like like Sam had said, like there's still the core of like how Matt portrayed Gilmore, but just enough of a you know different take to really make it its own, and it's so good, so good. Um, and also the funny little little Easter egg for those that have watched the Campaign Two. Uh, Tusk Love, I love like, really focused in on it. Like, you didn't have to go looking for it. Like, hey guys, Tusk Love. <laughs> um, and it looked exactly like a, well, like, like, like an iteration of Ford and Jester. Um, so that was pretty funny. That was cool that they put that in there. Um, so I'm wondering if they're not going to plan on ever doing a Mighty Nine. I kind of, I really hope that they get to do Mighty Nine, uh, like Campaign 2 as an animation. I don't know if, I mean, I'm sure that they'd, they'd love to do that. Um, but right now, obviously, they're like, their their sights are on this. You know, focus on what you're working on right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, there was also the focus on. I don't think that like they're not necessarily the logo or the symbol of Tiamat, Tiamat, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but at the very least, it was symbolizing the chromatic dragons. So, cause yeah, I'm pretty sure that her or uh, its logo, her it, I don't know. Uh, TMS logo is a bit different than that, but yeah, I could be wrong. Um, for those that would know, you can let me know. Um, but yeah, I kind of like that they were showing, like, they're hinting at what's to come um, uh, later on in the show. If I, I don't know, because they they have uh, Amazon has ordered two seasons or okayed two seasons. I don't know if the second season is already going to be on that. Um, or they're even already filming it. I don't remember if they've started uh, not filming if they started uh, recording for that. Uh, it's interesting how they've dealt with Fence, um, because well, he's already dead now, so it's not really a spoiler. But he had died in another form, um, a different. Um, I'm I think later on as well, um, but they've killed him off because of by Krieg, you know, which is you know makes sense. I mean, he had snuck into Krieg's. Uh, mansion and taking evidence to, to basically uh, wow to reveal you know Craig, Craig's secret um, I don't know if it was uh, showing that he was a dragon but at the very least it was you know his intentions with the Mon um, and then Craig unfortunately took him out um, kind of saw I kind of felt it coming I was like ah this is Setting up his back's turned to them, uh, you know. There's that kind of. There was like a. a I, feel like, I I don't remember, but I feel like there was like kind of a ba uh, background score kind of building up the for the for the bringing up attention for that. Was that? I can't remember. If that's what he was. Had uh, come up with before, like he had information on something. I think it was on because of Brimside of Creek. Gilmore did also end up helping us out, bring, uh, talking about the you know the, the where the twin rivers meet. That was very helpful. <laughs> um, kind of saved their butts there, and uh, it was oh it was, again. Now we're gonna come back to the the scene finally. It was so cool. For again, like the illusion, the uh, what, what would that have been? That would have I guess been major illusion. It, it, I'm curious like how how like this is pretty early on, so they would be relatively low level. Um, I can't remember what I think major major image isn't that third level spells so it wouldn't necessarily be super strong um it would have to be like a from correct me if I'm wrong as I I don't remember I'm blinking on what level that is that was awesome and then just seeing how them all fun, actually working together both Keyleth and Percy taking out uh, either of his wings uh, Percy shooting a, a stalactite. And they're coming down, pierce. I think it pierced his wing or pinned it. Either either way, that you know, it was a large stalactite. 
Um, and Keyleth using, using her, you know, the vines, grasping vines, to like, just, gr like, look like they basically crushed his wing and, like, tugged it down. Um, so that was smart. For them to both, uh, take it. Wings. I was wondering how they were going to take his wings. I was, like, thinking maybe Vax could, like, uh, sever the, the, I can't remember the word for it, the, um, membrane. Uh, I think that's the right word. Um, then they wouldn't be able to fly. But that was, I think, much more effective. <laughs> um, I really get shot with that, Percy. <clears throat> uh, and Keyleth, uh, Keyleth, sorry, uh, Pike and, and Vex, you know, working together, her powering up Vex's arrow, and after uh, Vex had, I was, because I was a little, like, not worried, but, like, whenever it had showed him, Vex, like, slit, uh, slit his throat, I was like, is that gonna be it? I feel like that, they're gonna have to do more, because it can't just be that easy, like, yeah, you know his weakness, but, like, it, it's the weakness of a dragon, so even if it's his weakness, it's still gonna be rough really doing enough on that but no yeah like he, he slit his throat leaving it uh, more more vulnerable for vex to with the pike's help really deal some uh good amount of damage to like more, even tend him even more so that grog could go in and deal, deal the finishing blow but oh the, i love it i love it. sorry for those that maybe haven't watched the campaign like his the the, the his line or not his line his his what's the word motto no. effectively his tagline um, I would like to raise it. It was just, oh, Travis delivered that so freaking well. It was awesome. Um, it's hard not to get hyped at that moment. It was so good. <clears throat> that was, that was really well anime. I liked that. Like, again, I, I think, I, I don't know. I wasn't, I didn't have as much of an issue with Krieg's design for some reason. I don't know. I think maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I might be the only one who had an issue with the, the CGI aspect of Krie, uh, Krieg when he's in his dragon form. But that whole fight was awesome. It was Somewhat short, but I mean, yeah, you know, a, a long drawn fight with a dragon is not good for the for the group fighting it. You know, you you want to be able, you want to have to, you want to take them out fast. Um, so, um, so yeah, we're going to be going to the, uh, like basically the start of the Briarwood arc. Oh, <laughs> no, things were crazy now. Like things for those that I, I know, I keep saying this. I'm sorry for those that don't quite know things are gonna get dark <laughs> um but for now that is it for this episode guys hope you enjoyed if you want to stick around for the next episode going up go ahead and subscribe and uh again hope you're enjoying this series is i'm i'm, I'm super excited